be nice if I never came down. Always on the rise, I forgot about ground. I just want to live on the top somehow. Alright guys, this is going to be my first commentary on one of my squad builders. It's going to be a 100k team. I think that's what it ran accustomed. Enjoy. Right, so don't just put these out. So in goal we have Halton. There's many other Brazilian goalkeepers to choose from, but I just prefer him. If I'm going for a more like expensive team with better players, well not better, just higher rated, I prefer to use Diego Alves because it just works better with the defenders. But well, Halton's perfect for this team if it's like a budget team really. It's great stats on him. Six foot two as well, so he's always up for it. Of corner, well not for corners, but he's always out there. Thousand coins, which is a bargain for him. I do recommend him. But if you are again buying a better team, I would prefer Diego Alves. Two two centre backs. You have Day Day and Canu. Day Day is the better centre back out of the two. I've got 81 pace, 81 defending, 82 heading. He's also got 70 passing, which for centre back is really good. That's for 2,200 coins. Doesn't really matter what foot he is or skill moves. He can just I can outpace most players on the other people's teams, depends who they have. He's just a great player. He's 2,200 coins. And he's just a great player all round. Second centre back, we have Canu. Must be 4,700 coins. Six foot two. Again, he's got great defending stats and he's a non rare silver. It's one of the more expensive non rare silvers, along with the one, the centre back for uh, Inter Milan as well. 80 pace and 78 head no stand up stats. Got also got 72 defending, but he doesn't really need it because Day Day does all the work. Right back we have Mariano. Uh, great player. Got 89 pace. That's his main stat. 77 dribbling, 76 passing. He hasn't got great defending stats, but he's a 75 and he's a fullback, so he doesn't really need him because the defenders are the ones who tackles. He's just there to cross and get back when he needs to. And he's got four-star skills, which is great for a uh, right back. The other two, I think, it's Cecenia and Danny Alves. And didn't really like them because they didn't really fit into this team as well. Because Danny Alves always, always was pushing up too much. And Cecenia just wasn't as good. Yeah, so on to the left back now. And we have Marcio Azevedo. 87 pace, 73 dribbling. And he's a great player. Only five-star left back in the game. I know this defence is... Mostly every Brazilian skill team defence. But it's just a great defence to have. Plus be 47,000 coins. Great player. Great all range stats for a fullback. Hasn't got the best defending stats. But he, again doesn't really need him. Because the two centre backs are there. And centre mid. We have Felipe. The only default five star centre mid in the game. Uh, well the Brazilian one anyway. 1,300 coins. Good. Two goals in three games, 82 pace, 82 passing, and 85 dribbling. Are the best stats on him. He isn't really the fastest player, but he doesn't really need. Right mid, we have Calvin, great player. Could have had Danilino or Mike Conley yet. We don't really need him. We're saying they cost twice, nearly three times the price. He's got a great finesse shot, and he's left footed on the right side, which is always a good thing. He's got five star skills. He's got me 38,500. Got great passing dribbling stats. He's quite he's four or five inches taller than Mike Conley and Danilino, which is always good. So he can get headers when he needs to. Left mid we have Fabinho. Great all round player. Eighty eight pace, ninety one dribbling, seventy five shot and seventy seven passing. Because we're just over ten K, I think he's a bit cheaper than that now. Five star skill, four star so weak it's five foot eight. He's got, he hasn't got the best shot, but he doesn't really need to be because he's a left mid. He's just there for crosses and getting in when he needs to. Yeah, great player all round. Two cams. We have Jadson and Rafael Sobis. Jadson is the better out of the two. I think all his stats are better than Rafael Sobis. Yeah, most of them anyway. Or, well, yeah, most of them. A great player. Five star skill, four star weak foot. Right footed, I like to play him on the left side, really, actually. That's yeah, the left side. He's just a great player. 150 coins is a bargain for him. A great player. People say you should Ganzu, but or Ranadinho, but they're just too slow, really, for this team. 
uh, there, Rafael Serbi, same five stars, four star weak foot, 1500 coins. He's got almost as good stats as Jadson, but I prefer Jadson personally. And up front, we have Carlos Eduardo. I know you can use Alkson or the informed Neymar or Wallison, but Wallison and Neymar are a bit overpriced, I think, because they're not nowhere near as good as him as Carlos Eduardo. But, and Alkson isn't just, Alkson's terrible, really. I have still got him in my club, I think, but he's just not as good. 83 pass and 86 dribbling, 5-star skills and 3-star weak foot. 7,500 coins in striking, getting for about 900 in cam. So with one goal for him, which wasn't definitely the best goal, but it's just, it's all-round skill goals you can score with him, just little skill runs and then pass it across the box or cross it in from him because he's a great player. So that's the team. Cost around 100k, I think. I'll put the price in the title when I'll figure it out. 99 chemistry, 100k with the manager. And for the bench, oh, sorry. There is a lot of other five-star players you can have. There you go. Oh. I did try to work McGeady and Busufa into the team. We didn't really work. And Asaidi and Tarat, they're all five-star skillers. I've got some others in my club, but these are the, the main four that I also tried to work into the team, but it just wasn't working out with them. Tarat is the best player in the game for me. His inform is incredible. Five-star week for five-star skill. 1,300 coins. He's just amazing. The other three aren't as good, but they're just good as well. I prefer him in centre forward, really. And McGeady is just amazing. But yeah, that's the team. Hope you enjoyed, and please leave a like. And thanks.